Hello, this is Dr. Graves with California State University at Northridge Geography Department. This is a video tutorial that is designed to help students who are using ArcGIS Pro through the Aporto app, which is a remote desktop function. Um, and for the very first uh, exercise, for the very first lab, all you're going to do is to launch the software, ArcGIS Pro, and open the very first assignment in that software. So this video tutorial is designed to allow you to see how that looks. You will start on a page that looks very similar to this and this is, you know, lab zero for you. You will scroll down. There will be this YouTube video. This one is an alternative, uh, just a placeholder for the moment. And you will click on link to ArcGIS Pro via a porto. That will load another window, but in order to launch it, you have to click on load ArcGIS Pro in desktop in a new window. So you click that and the Aporto app will begin to launch. The first thing that um, you often have to do is to is go in through a login sequence. And if you do, then it is the typical uh, ask. Uh, it will ask you or prompt you for your CSUN credential, your login and your password and then you may have to uh, verify with Duo. The very first time you do this, it's very likely you won't see this screen, but each subsequent um, return to the Aporto app, you will get this desktop, and this looks like a PC desktop, and well, apparently all by itself, without me having to click on anything, ArcGIS Pro is launching. If it doesn't launch, then just click on one of, there are two uh, desktop shortcuts that will help you launch ArcGIS Pro. This tool is independent, or should be, of your operating system. So if you're on an Apple or a Mac computer, or on a Google Chrome machine that's running off of some other operating system, and perhaps even on your iPhone, iPad, that kind of thing, you could conceivably do this as long as you're in a browser window. I'm using Google Chrome, but I've had luck with others as well. So after about a minute, the ArcGIS Pro, the program is opened and it is prompting us at this point to open one of the files, a map file. Now, of course, I've already opened multiple map files, but yours very likely will be blank. What we want to do is open this one that's called Introduction, but you won't have it yet on your machine unless you've opened it. So in order to find it and open it on your particular uh, desktop, click on Open Another Project. This Open Project dialog window will appear. And in the upper right-hand corner where it says Search ArcJS Online, click in here and type in CSUN and Graves and introduction and press enter to search the the cloud drive for possible matches to that search the one that you want in 2024 and after is introduction to GIS that says arc pro in parentheses in the title so click on that click OK and wait a minute or two while the map and all the files are downloaded and then display. 
once you get to this point, you are finished with the lab zero, which is nothing more than making sure that you can at least do that. So if you were able to do this, go back to lab zero in Canvas and report that you were able to do it. If you are unable to do this, then also report to your instructor that you were unable to open this map. That concludes this tutorial video. Mm -hmm.